Dear friends, allow me the space to reintroduce myself. My name is Marcus Amaker. I came into this world with the heartbeat of life in the key of life. Stevie Wonder's album constantly spinning in the home of a military family passing through Las Vegas. Even as a baby, music was the only beat that made sense besides the beat of my mother and father's heart. It was the only rhythm that felt unforced, unlike my voice that stuttered as a child, stammered as a teen, stumbles as an adult. I beat myself up the first time words bumped up against my breath. My brain disconnected from the pulse inside my head, so I made beats alone behind closed doors instead. Singing into cassette tapes became a diary of melody. Music became the sibling I never had, a best friend for any swing of mood. Metallica, aggression. Janet Jackson, joy. Prince, confidence. Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, the soul of a black boy living in Japan. And then I discovered the beat of hip hop. A Tribe Called Quest was a journey that left rap's permanent impression on my tongue. Words started forming from boom bap, the beat of black experience. Hip hop was a baby who taught me how to speak. I merged with its movement. I still swing to its beat. With college came the unchained melodies of Joni Mitchell, Tori Amos, and Ani DeFranco. Every night I absorbed the beat of women's voices into broken-hearted poems in tune with the downbeat of black wings spiraling through depression. I've lived a lifetime of repetition and melancholy as muscle memory and came out stronger. My wife knows the ebb and flow of my beat. We write songs together without the accent of sound. She is my melody until the beat of time goes silent.